What's up, beautiful superstars? No art video today. I just wanted to get a response out from my buddy Lou Rock TV. Lou Rock wants to see the best lineup we can make out of relic cards, which is a fantastic idea. I'm having a blast seeing all the relic card lineups being made out there in YouTube land. Um, I started pulling what little relic cards I had as soon as he announced this contest, but I don't actively collect them. And I discovered I did not have an outfield at all. So I had to jump onto the eBay and remedy that. So I don't have anything super impressive here, but my all Cleveland relic lineup isn't half bad. So let's do this. Leading off and playing center field, four-time Gold Glove winner, five-time stolen base champ, and six-time All-Star, here's a little bat sliver from Mr. Kenneth Lofton Esquire. I don't think he's really an Esquire, but Esquire always sounds fancy. Batting second and playing second, hailing from Puerto Rico, 12-time All-Star, 10 Gold Gloves, four Silver Sluggers, and a Hall of Famer, I present to you either the Tidy Whiteys or a Spit Rag from Roberto Alomar. Batting third and playing third, this spark plug is currently leading the majors in RBI and is regarded as one of the best players in the game today. From the Dominican Republic, I present an all-star jersey swatch from Jose Enrique Ramirez. Batting fourth and playing left field, one of the best right-handed hitters to ever play the game. He could sneeze RBIs and was a total space cadet. We have a bat relic from current outfielder for the Sydney Blue Sox, Manuel Aristides Ramirez, aka Manny being Manny. Batting fifth and playing right field, also hailing from Puerto Rico, two-time MVP, three-time All-Star, and six-time Silver Slugger, a bat piece and jersey swatch from Mr. Juan Gon. Hitting sixth and playing first base, the big guy is a five-time All-Star, Hall of Famer, and Cleveland's all-time home run leader. In an era marred by steroids, he played the game the right way. Here's a jersey piece from gentleman Jim Tomey. Batting seventh, but still providing plenty of pop. Here's our DH four-time All-Star and 1953 American League Most Valuable Player. A piece of lumber from the Hebrew Hammer, Al Flip Rosen. Batting eighth and playing behind the dish, two-time Silver Slugger and five-time All-Star. He ran like he had a refrigerator strapped to his back, but he still hit 295 over his 16-year career. Clean up on aisle 12. Here's a jersey swatch from V-Mart. Hitting ninth and playing shortstop, this little guy once beat Albert Bell in an impromptu home run derby. It made Albert so mad that he smashed his prize trophy to bits, but he's better known for his 11 gold gloves. Here's a bat relic from Omar Vizquel. And of course I need a pitcher, so you can't go wrong with a nine-time All-Star Hall of Famer and 300 game winner. So here's a fabric swatch from Mr. Early Win. So there you have it, Lou Rock. It may not be the ultimate, ultimate relic card lineup, but I had fun putting it together for you. Thanks for putting on this giveaway and thanks for watching. Peace out and go Guardians.